Hey YouTube, Vermont Prepper here. I uh, just want to go over something that uh, I've been doing and I'd be interested to hear from real medical doctors on this because I don't really uh, say that I'm an expert at anything medically. Uh, my background, I do have a biology degree, so I know probably enough to be dangerous, but I am far from a, a medical doctor. So uh, I just wanted to get a, get an idea from people what they thought about this. So I started researching when I, I felt this coronavirus starting to really stick. I started researching about uh, what I would need to do to sort of build up my immune system uh, to the best of my ability. You know, I get the flu shot. I'm not one of those anti-vaxxers. Uh, I think that's there's a lot of misinformation out there about, about vaccines. Um, I, I'm a pro-vaccine. In any event, uh, in my research, you know, I came across an article uh, how the super rich are heading off to their doomsday bunkers, right? So they're heading off to their doomsday bunkers. And as you scroll down, and I'll put a link to all of this in, in the uh, video, but as you scroll down right here, we see that they're going to these clinics and they're special doctors, and, and they're saying that um, we know 90% of the adults have a deficiency in, in vitamins. And how do you improve your uh, uh, immunity response, I guess? And then what they're doing is they're getting an intravenous uh, infusion that gives optimal de delivery of certain nutrients. And that includes, you know, your regular vitamins right here. But then also these essential amino acids such as arginine, taurine, lysine, and citrulline. And they're paying uh, 350 pounds, which is uh, roughly six to seven hundred dollars in U.S. Uh, dollars. So basically, they're getting these infusions or injections, whatever you want want to call them, directly into their bloodstream because I guess it goes. Uh, it's more effective that way. But I don't have that kind of money. So what I started doing is I started taking. Uh, L-arginine and citrulline, you know, from GNC. You also could find it on Walmart, probably cheaper. But this is what the bottle looks like, and it's this particular one's 500 milligrams each. I don't think there's any kind of recommended uh, daily uh, amount that you should take, but I read, and this is, again, just me. I'm not recommending anything, but I read that... Uh, there's really no side effects in taking this kind of thing because I, I'm not a big pill taker. Uh, I try and avoid pills when I can, but this is kind of a special circumstance. So I'm taking a one a day and I'm also taking this particular supplement. And I've been doing this for about a month. So then I started researching, okay, so what's the significance of arginine and or ar arginine, whatever you want to call it, or citrulline? So I just happened to Google uh, arginine citrulline coronavirus, and this is what came up. Came up a, an article in the Journal of Virology, and again, I'll put a link in there, how nitric oxide inhibits replication of the severe acute res respiratory syndrome, that's SARS, back in 2003. This is a 2004 or 5 article, I believe. Uh, and SARS, of course, is a particular uh, coronavirus, right? So maybe the rich know something a little bit more than we do. I always feel that way. But I started taking these supplements and then I looked a little bit further. Okay. So you say, okay, so there's a lot of, you know, medical jargon in here, very hard to sift through and figure out what's happening, but look at the title. It says nitric oxide inhibits replication cycle. So it inhibits the pro progression of severe acute respiratory syndrome, right? So nitric oxide. So you say, how does that have to do with arginine and citrulline. 
Well, if you look in, you just type nitric oxide arginine in uh, Google, and it says right here, in the body, the amino acid arginine changes into nitric oxide. So this particular supplement changes into the particular compound that that inhibits the uh, SARS coronavirus, right? Um, it it really so I figure well what what does it have it doesn't have side effects it it doesn't have any kind of uh, uh, issue why not start to take why not start to take it so I've been taking it about a month and who knows if if it has any kind of uh, uh, effect against this particular coronavirus because it is different than SARS but if you will note that some autopsies of the um, decedents from the current coronavirus have SARS-like damage to their lungs. You know, it's a respiratory issue, just like SARS. And they have SARS-like dam damage to their lungs. I'm, I'm not sure how many with the percentages, but there's also a percentage of people that recover that have degraded lung function uh, as well. So who knows if this has the ability to inhibit. Um, but if you notice on GNC site, somebody else must be onto this because the item is currently not available. I actually went to a GNC store uh, and bought this. It was still available there. It was actually before this whole coronavirus really took a, a hold, um, probably about a month ago. So, then I went to Walmart and I uh, ordered like four more bottles. So I do have a good stock of them. And I've been taking um, nine pills per day. And some of you might say, oh, my God, you, what are you doing? I, you, you know, uh, you're taking way too many. Well, I mean, I don't see any side effect to it. Uh, and I've been doing it for a while. Uh, I don't feel any different. Um, and I'm not sure if it's going to protect me or not. But it's just something that... Uh, I feel that there's enough circumstantial uh, evidence that suggests that maybe it would have an effect. It can't hurt, at least in my view. So that's what I'm doing. So anyways, um, hope you liked the video. Please comment, especially medical doctors, because I really don't know if I'm overdosing on this stuff or not. Uh, these are, this particular bottle is 500 milligrams each of arginine and citrulline. And I read that you can have up to six uh, to 10 grams per day uh, without any kind of effect. Um, so in any event, again, I'm not a doctor, not recommending anything. It's just what I'm doing for myself right now. All right, Vermont Prep route and... Uh, Hope you guys comment, like, and subscribe. Take care. Keep prepping. And wash your hands for God's sake.